Someone who's been on this show many, many times, in fact, first appeared on this show on Outsiders when he was out here in Australia back in 2017, is, of course, Nigel Farage. And uh, this week, Nigel Farage decided to do what this show has been urging him to do, both uh, publicly and personally, uh, to get back in the ring and to fight for Britain. And that is exactly what he is doing. <sighs> this week, he has stormed ahead in the polls, the... Reform Party is uh, is beating in some polls the uh, Conservatives, which has thrown the Conservatives into disarray. But here's let's just grab a couple of the reasons why Nigel Farage is being such a huge hit this week on social media, but also elsewhere in the mainstream media. Here he is confronting the Conservatives, Penny Mordaunt, about their appalling uh, immigration policies. Have a listen. Your 2015 manifesto, your 2017 manifesto, said you'd reduce net migration to tens of thousands. Your 2019 manifesto said immigration would massively reduce and that net 4.3 million people have come into the country since that time. Why on earth should anybody believe the fifth manifesto that promises cuts to net migration? Because of the record of this Prime Minister. So we've had... <laughs> we've had... Oh, and I <laughs> he just burst out laughing and so did the audience. I mean, she said that they had a policy and that's the problem with the Tories. Nobody is listening to them. They have had every chance and they've blown every chance. Farage, Rita, is storming ahead. He is. Uh, I just wish he would... Uh get into these races a bit earlier. The election's a couple of weeks <laughs> away, so he has left his run late. But the Tories, and this is a lesson to Conservatives here, whether they're at state or federal level, the Tories decided, oh, we can go left because who are Conservatives going to vote for? We can uh, in, you know, bring in more people into Mark the camp. Mark text strategy. And uh, it didn't work here. It hasn't worked there. It's a disaster. They're going to be decimated. So learn from it. Conservatives only prosper when they actually stand for something and are conservative in government. And where is the patriotism in, in the UK? That's another thing that's missing from the Tories. And uh, Farage was asked, do you consider yourself the most patriotic uh, candidate? And he had this answer. Do you think, then, that you are more patriotic than the other party leaders? Without a doubt. Uh, what's your evidence for that? D-Day. D-Day does it for me. I wouldn't take my poppy off out of embarrassment because that's what Keir Starmer did last year. Please ask him when he's here. Why, at one point in the morning, is he wearing a poppy? At another moment, speaking to a Muslim community, he takes the poppy off. And that is your evidence for saying you're more patriotic? I reckon that's pretty strong, don't you? Now, the BBC <laughs> were appalled by that, but I think anyone who was uh, watching that uh, would agree. Whatever yeah. your politics, it's just mm -hmm. disgraceful to take your poppy off because it, what does that say about how new migrants are assimilating in, into the well, UK? Well, it says that they're not, but it also okay. some of the other stuff that uh, Dr Farage has said is stuff that I think that people in countries like Australia could also identify with um, just around how politics seems to be broken and, as a result, the country seems broken. Have a look at this. What I intend to lead is a political revolt. Yes, a revolt. A turning of our backs on the political status quo. It doesn't work. Nothing in this country works anymore. <laughs> yeah, and so nothing he talks, works. and he goes on and talks about how nothing works, stuff doesn't work, the railways don't work, things NH don't work. NH and it's called the Reform Party. And it's the Reform Britain Party. I reckon, I reckon what's going to happen here, I think, and you see how the Conservatives are getting smashed, Reform is now outpolling them out of nowhere in the polls. Labour comes in, does one term of office, then you get a Reform government to come in and properly fix Britain. And it's an and, accelerationist and strategy that I think is going to work, and we may wind up seeing something here too, I don't know. And, and